Iris strikes another local school shutting it down, this time Hembry Elementary School in Roswell, and that's where we find our Astrid Martinez. And Astrid, the concern is twofold, right? Coronavirus, of course, is a concern, but parents also don't want to have to bring their kids back to virtual learning. There's so much back and forth, and unfortunately, this is such a fluid situation that this is going to continue to happen for some time. Also remember that Fulton County went back to school full time for all grades just two weeks ago. But school officials are saying that kids are showing up to school with symptoms and lying about them. So now there's COVID cases here. This has been set up, this homework bin, so people can drop off their homework because they're forced to go virtual. Doing it safely, of course, with the sanitizer because this school is shut down. During the closure at Hembry Elementary School, the building will be cleaned for COVID-19 virus. Contact tracing will also be completed. As a result, all students and teachers will participate in remote learning Thursday. In a letter sent to parents, school district officials said they will anticipate returning to school on Friday for face-to-face -face instruction. Individuals who will need to quarantine for longer will be notified directly. In the meantime, school officials continue to urge parents and guardians to not send students to class if A, they've tested positive for COVID-19 in the past 15 days, currently waiting for the results of a test for COVID-19, or have been in close contact in the past 15 days with someone diagnosed with COVID-19. Okay, now parents and students, listen up. There are consequences if you come to class with symptoms and if you lie about them, you will be forced to go to virtual learning indefinitely and you might be taken off extracurricular activities like sports. For now, I'm live in Roswell, Astrid Martinez, CBS 46 News. Back All right, Astrid, thanks so much for that. And speaking of the coronavirus.